I had been seeing a girl for three years, and it was wonderful. I couldn't believe I had found someone so perfect for me. We were living together for most of this time, but we ended up being apart for half of a year, toward the end for reasons unrelated to the relationship. Despite her being in a different state, things were still as good as ever. We made a few trips to see one another, and I thought that things were actually building up. The relationship was getting better and better. Then there was a period for a few months where she seemed to become distant. I feared the worst, but assumed I was being paranoid. This girl was far too emotionally connected to me for there to be anything else going on, so I thought. I decided that I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I let this slip away over something so silly as the distance between us. Even thinking that it could somehow evaporate seemed silly. We were just way too close. I acted out of paranoia nevertheless. I called her and told her I wanted her to move back and move back in with me and that I couldn't stand for us to be apart any longer and that I felt us drifting. I can't explain how horrible the following moment was. I had never heard her so sad. She was mortified and I could tell. Before she said anything, she told me I'd hang up and never speak to her again. I told her that wasn't going to happen. Maybe that prepared me. At that point, I assumed cheating, but in the back of my head, I was thinking she had maybe gotten a disease or something. It was in her wording, I spoiled everything forever, or something like that. It felt like an eternity. I was waiting for her to tell me she had HIV. That's when she told me that she was months into a pregnancy that wasn't my doing. My heart sunk. I knew that the entire future we had always planned was gone. I told her everything would be fine and that I loved her and that accidents happen. I asked for just a few details. How far along she was and if she was being healthy. I then told her not to worry. She'd hear from me again, but that I had to go. Afterward, I went back and looked at our phone and email history to try and pinpoint the day that she did this. Assuming it was only once and with one person. The worst part was that she cheated on me when everything seemed fine. We had talked that day and had a hilarious chain of emails. It was such a betrayal. Believe me, it hurt. The seriousness of a pregnancy too. This wasn't just a blowjob. She was carrying some other guy's kid. Like what was my dream was merely some other asshole's accident. After all this time, I still can't avoid crying when talking about the details of it. When I called her back, I told her she was forgiven. I was honest and told her that I was hurt and that I can't trust her anymore, but I wasn't cruel. She knew how hurt I was, but I think she was hurting much worse. Both of our dreams were shattered but at least I didn't need to live with thinking it was my fault. I'll admit I had some horrible feelings and thought about some horrible things I'd like to say, but I just had no desire to be vengeful. When you love someone, you don't want revenge, you want understanding. I was just sad. This all happened a few years ago. For the sake of brevity, I'll sum this up by saying she had her baby and he is wonderful. I stayed with her as a friend through the entire ordeal. We are still close friends today. I am so happy that I didn't react harshly. She and I are not together, that trust is broken. However, I retained a friend, had a great life lesson, as did she. I also got to practice love when it wasn't easy. Though it makes me sad to think about the details of this event. I'm very happy that I still have this person in my life. I'm very happy I wasn't mean to her when she was at her lowest point. I'd regret that today. In the wake of my decision to forgive her, I found that my friends had mixed reactions. Some believed that I was acting out of weakness or naivety. They couldn't understand why I wasn't more outraged or why I didn't cut ties immediately. It was during one of these conversations, filled with their well-meaning, but critical views that I felt the need to explain my actions more deeply. I wanted to convey not just the pain and betrayal I felt, but also the compassion and maturity that guided my response. So, 
I shared with them, in my own words. The moment she told me this information, it was over. She knew it and I knew it. The conversation was not going to be about hurt feelings and bruised egos, because now I was talking to someone who was pregnant with a child. I talked to her the way I would talk to any friend who was in a similar kind of crisis. It wasn't about me or us, it was about her and the baby. The worst thing I could have done was make her have any resentment around her pregnancy. It was important for the sake of this baby that from the get-go there were no hard feelings involving his existence. Furthermore, she was already beating herself up really badly, like really badly. I was worried. Even a half-hearted cry for help kind of event could have been detrimental to the health of the baby. She needed not to hear she was forgiven, but hear the words that would be said if she really was forgiven. She needed to be given a little grace. No, she never said anything to hint, she would hurt herself either, and she never held me emotionally captive. Once she was stable, I removed myself from the situation, until after the pregnancy was over, and she was fine with that. She never played any mind tricks. I'm not a doormat, though I really don't take offense to being called one in this case. She turned into a desperate friend at that moment, so I had to respond accordingly. Protecting my pride was the last thing I was concerned about. I knew she was in a worse place, so it was my choice to do my part in making sure she and the baby got through this okay. I'm a strong person, and I recovered just fine. My little brother gets walked all over by meaningless women because his life is controlled by his penis. Someone also said, I'm being taken advantage of. I promise you I am not. At least no more than any friendship is a pair of people taking advantage of each other. I quickly drew boundaries. Yes, her and I are friends, but I've since moved on and I've been in a few relationships that have been normal and healthy. Despite getting a bit sad when retelling the story, it's really not much of a big deal at all anymore. I wouldn't even be able to guess in what way I'm being taken advantage of. I've laid out my story and how I chose to navigate through it, but now I'm turning the mic over to you. If you were in my position, faced with such a curveball, what would your move have been? Would you have taken a different path, or perhaps something similar? I'm genuinely curious to hear your thoughts and reactions. Let's make this a two-way dialogue. Share your take on this in comments.